Hey Easy Technology, in this tutorial we'll be showing you how to enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling on Windows 11. Windows 11 comes with hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, a feature that helps to reduce latency and improve performance by allowing the graphics card to manage its memory. However, since this is still a new feature, you must be running the latest graphics driver from the manufacturer and only certain cards are supported. NVIDIA supports hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, started with its driver version 451.48 and higher releases. If you have Intel integrated graphics, the feature is available since driver version 27.20.100.8190. If you have an AMD card, you will need a 56000 series or later card. So here is how to enable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling using settings. And I'll be showing you two methods on how to do this. First thing you have to do is choose a start menu and simply choose settings or just type in settings and choose the application that pops up and from here we're going to choose this first option that says display and make sure you're under system and go ahead and scroll down and choose where it says graphics and from here you will see an option that says change default graphics settings so you will need to go ahead and choose that and toggle the switch on for hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. But however, if you don't have the option, such as my computer over here, there could be a few reasons. Either your graphics card does not support it, the graphics card isn't up to date, or there could be any other reason. So in this case, I'll be showing you another method on how to enable the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling using the registry. And before we do that, you might want to upgrade your graphics card. So just in case it's not fully upgraded, minimize this, right click on the start menu, and simply choose device manager. All right, this will pop up. So what you wanna look for is display adapters and choose your graphics card. So minus Intel Iris R X E graphics, double click on it and choose driver and go ahead and choose update driver and choose search automatically for drivers and make sure it says the best drivers for your devices already installed and simply choose close go ahead and close and let's exit this out all right so the second method on how to do this if for any reason you don't have the option under settings is go ahead and right click once again on the start menu and just a quick note before we start, it's important to note that modifying the Windows registry can cause serious problems if not used properly. It's assumed you know what you're doing and that you have created a full backup of your system before proceeding. So simply what you want to do is choose run or you can simply left click on the start menu and type in registry editor. Go ahead and choose that. Choose yes to allow changes and what you want to do is simply follow this directory and once you're here go ahead and scroll down and this does go in alphabetical order so find the folder that says graphics drivers go ahead and choose this arrow right over, right over here and simply you don't need to choose anything else so all you have to do is left click once on graphics drivers and simply go ahead and right click and we're going to choose new so find where it says new and go ahead and select the word 32-bit value and what you want to do is name this folder hw sch mode and choose enter and it's going to create this new file for you here so what you want to do is simply double click on this folder and change this value data from 0 to 2 And once you're done, go ahead and choose OK. And once you finish with that, then simply all you need to do is restart your computer and it will take effect. It will now be enabled. All right. And if you want to revert the changes, you can use the same instructions from here. You would simply just right click and all you have to do is choose delete. So before I delete it, I'm going to go back to it if you want to go back and turn it off first. So change it back to zero, choose okay. 
And once again, if I don't want it to be turned on, the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling, I'm going to right click on this folder and simply choose delete. And go ahead and choose yes. And that's all you have to do. All right, so that concludes my tutorial today. I hope you enjoyed it. Make sure to like the video, share it to all your friends, and subscribe to the channel. Thanks for watching.